Get ready for a 10 minute glutes builder yoga shred workout and a stretch at the end. Let's begin. I've got a couple of ankle weights on if you want to grab some of those or you've got a heavier boot for each side that we're working on. You can always press pause, put that on and join me for a little extra resistance effort. Always nice to challenge those glutes. Come on to hands and knees with me here. Feel free to do this forearms as well if you want to down like this instead of the wrist. But walk your hands a little forward, less bend in the wrist. Lift up and bend your right leg just like that. And we'll begin 20 seconds activity, 10 seconds rest. Kick the leg up. Go ahead and begin to kick with me. Seems pretty straightforward, and it is. We have four rounds of this on this side, and then we'll switch to the left. But believe me, this is going to add up fast to a whole booty bonfire. Three, two, and one. Now for 10 seconds, open the knee to the side. Yeah, just about to hip height like that. For four, three, two, one. Same side, kick up. But can you go a little quicker? This is to activate not just your type one endurance based muscle fibers, but the type two ones that lift, tone, hug, sculpt and define you and give you that other whole 50% perhaps of strength that slow motion alone can't always give us. Start to open the knee to the side for the 10 seconds active recovery here from that other move. Now back to center, 20 seconds of the kicks. Are you feeling the point yet <laughs> of this repetitive movement? Glutes are strong and we want them to be strong and balanced with the core. That way your pelvis and low back and sacrum is healthy. Three, two, one. Knee open to the side. Stabilize with the other leg so your pelvis isn't moving open too much. Just give yourself three, two, one of these back to center. Final round on this side. Watch my leg, don't unhinge it like that and try to kick behind you. Kick the ceiling. You want glutes to fire back here. That cute booty is getting even cuter by the moment. Two and one. Open to the side, final one here. Great for side hip muscles and gluteal muscles. Three, two, put that knee down, lift the left leg. No rest for the fierce. <laughs> Left leg starts to kick up. You can take it slower at first to make sure you're getting the movement, not just in the hamstrings at the back of the thighs, but all the way up into the butt. <laughs> yep, three, two, one. Knee opens up. Yes, I have a yoga dress on, but I also have yoga boy shorts on, so <laughs> yeah. I'm coming here in just a dress. Lift up, kick, and kick faster. Get all of your muscle fibers activating and working to help you get stronger and more toned in way less time. Five, four, three, stay up in the glutes, one. Good, knee comes down, open. Nice, fierce pulses here. Go lower if this is too challenging or if you start fatiguing. But try to do your best to stick with me for all four rounds. Kick up behind yourself. Nice deep breath. In and out through the nose or through the mouth. Wherever you feel like you're getting the most air. Because your heart rate should be rising. Did I mention this is great for cardio too? Three, two, one. Knee comes down and opens. Have you lost attention on the hands? Real easy to do. Squeeze those fingertips down into the earth. Get even. Come on back and kick. 20 seconds here. It's your last one. This should be starting to feel something. Like, okay, I don't think I've worked my glutes like this in a while. Leg extensions are very powerful for building this lean muscle. Three, two, one. Knee comes down. We've got just 10 seconds left of this fun motion. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Woo, sound of victory. Come on back, just sit up a little bit, but sit back toward your heels. Walk your hands over one way, and just move the hips over to the left as your hands stretch to the right. Give yourself a little counter stretch. Deep breath in. 
Walk your hands toward the left. Gently slide your hips to the right. Breathe in there. Just a couple. Inhale again. And exhale, sigh it out. Release any gripping that was building up from intense sensation. We sometimes need that sensation to create transformation. You're doing great. Bend your toes underneath you back there. Lift your knees up. A little bent knee dog pose. And start to walk your feet forward toward the center of your mat. Very slowly, I want you to come up. Hands onto your knees right here. And if you've got a couple of hand weights, that's extra credit. I recommend you grab them right now. Oh, look, a couple of hand weights. <laughs> Power of editing. All right, three pound hand weights I have, but you could have one to three pounds or any household item that feels like it's working. Step your feet wide. Let's get a move on. Bend your knees here, hands up in front of you and bend, and press into your left foot and kick your right leg out behind you. Real easy to get the knees pushed too far forward. So aim to sit back whenever you come back to that bent knee stance. All right, now I want you to tap back and kick the leg. Tiny tap kicks while standing with the other leg for three, two, one. Step back, chair position, feet wide. Same leg, left heel, really press it down. Right leg back behind you. This is working a lot of the back body at once. Your heart rate will rise. Breathe accordingly. Big inhales, big exhales. Three, two, one. Tap back and lift. Just tiny tap pulses as quickly as you can go. Shoulders back, arms back. Work the triceps and upper back too. Reset, round three of four. My heart rate is up, so we have to breathe. Because if you're even doing this moderately, you're using a lot of effort, you need a lot of oxygen. Breathe in and kick it out. Two, one, tap back, tiny lifts. Feel in your glutes as well. Shoulders back, weights pulse back as well. Set it up, final one on the side. Not a very long workout. Up to the side, you're done with the side. And then you just got one more side. And that's it for today before the stretch. Make it count. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap pulses. Pulse the arms back. Great for upper back of the arms. Shoulders back. Glutes lift. One. Set it up. Now we're on the other side. I want you to press right heel down. Take this one slow for balance. And if you're tipping all over, <laughs> then try to stay really straight up and down as you kick instead of too much leaning to the right. Two, one, tap back and lift. Little lifts. This should go all the way up into the glutes back up there, not just the thigh. Good, reset back up. Nice, big, fierce, Conscious kick, and again, whenever you bend, slide the hips back, look at me, slide the hips back. When you land, so you're not pushing, knees forward overly, you can compress ankles, and overstrain the knee ligaments. But we're not doing that, we're doing the pulse right now. It's like a little tap and lift. Three, two, set it back up, breathe. This should feel like your max. Just about as much as you want to be doing today. But we're going to get through it together. Yes, we are. And you're doing a great job because you're here. That's everything. Tap back. Done with that round. Just 10 seconds. Do not grip with your front toes. Press into the heel more. Two, one, and final time. 20 seconds of this. Kick the heel back until you feel the glutes firing up. Hips and knees slide back as if sitting back in a chair that's a little far behind you. Three, two, one, tap. Micro pulses. Great for getting those fast switch fibers. Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> I know. 
Doesn't take long to have a good time around here, that's for sure. <laughs> now come on to center, feet wide, hands on your waist, right ankle across, left knee, hang on to a wall behind you or a chair or something, slide your hip creases back and sit into the position. This gives you a nice glutes and side hip stretch. Show it to you from this direction. Here's what you're doing. If this is completely not happening for you, then lift the knee, cross, hang on to the knee, and twist a bit towards that side. All right, wherever you are, deep breath in, come to stand, knee up, and exhale, switch, and cross the left ankle over right, slide those hips back. So we're not going from completely active to completely passive, you're actually getting a dynamic stretch right now, which the brain seems to like a lot better than just pulling on the muscles. Press a little bit downward, slide your hips back, deep breath in, come all the way up to stand, and exhale. Bend knees, forearms on the legs, and end with one leg gently pressing back, and then the other. Feel into your full range of motion as you lengthen over the glutes and low back. Thank you so much for joining me here. Whenever you're ready, could be now, could be later. Slowly come on up and exhale, hands to your chest. Go on with more movement if you like, or the rest of your day with a sassy swing of the hips. Awesome work.